Hello everyone, this is Mumbo and welcome back to another Minecraft video and in this one I have got something incredibly special to show you guys. For those of you who follow me on Twitter, you will know that there has been a particular project that has been in the pipeline for the past couple days and it's something that I'm incredibly excited about. Throughout the entire time of working on Redstone, I have always wanted to build a working Minecraft printer, a system in which you place a bunch of items on the inside of a chest and then Minecraft takes those items and prints them out in blocks. I always thought this would be impossible but thanks to the latest snapshot, it is now completely doable, and this is the system right here. Now this little guy is something that I made earlier. It's supposed to be a creeper, and I know that the dimensions are a little bit on the strange side. We have a 9x6 area to work with, which of course corresponds to the dimensions of a double chest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this guy out, I'm going to create some more artworks, and we'll see how well it prints it. I think artwork might be a bit of a strong word for what I'm about to create, but I thought I'd do the message high and then also do a bit of a multicolored background right here. So we've got the lime green and then the pink concrete powder. Right, everything is looking pretty cool, so we're going to come out of there. That is all going to be stored inside this double chest. And when we hit this button, that will start loading into the system and our little printer down at the bottom there will start printing out the image. Now I have to say it's not going to be a particularly speedy process so I think what I'm going to do is pop into a third person time lapse. What will happen is blocks will drop down from the top section, they'll then go down that little staircase right there, they'll travel past the water which will turn them into proper concrete blocks as opposed to just the concrete powder which means they're no longer affected by gravity and then they'll be pushed across and put down into one single row. And then that will also send a redstone signal up through the redstone torch tower requesting another block which will drop down into the staircase and the same thing will happen again. Eventually we'll get ourselves one full row and when we do get ourselves a row, the system will detect that, it will push the row across and then upwards and then it will start work on the next row until all of the blocks have been dropped out from the chest. It's actually quite a simple circuit. So now let's explain it in a little bit more detail. And here it is, our work of art has been completely finished and I have to say it looks a lot better in block form than it did in item form. But when I say that this was a long time lapse, I mean it was a long time lapse. It took 12 minutes to print out this full 9x6 area, which means that yeah, this isn't the fastest printer in the world. But anyway, let's pop up to the top and we'll take a look at the main circuit of this thing, which is this area right here. This is like the brain of the build and you may recognize it because it's a sorting system. It's exactly the same sorting system that's inside my Hermitcraft base. It's probably in a lot of your bases as well. And this is actually what controls the entire printing system. So let me give you guys a quick example. In this chest right here, we have got orange concrete powder and we also have magenta concrete powder. Now when we hit this button, the orange concrete powder will be taken out from the chest and travel along this hopper line right here. But as it passes over the top of this hopper, it would go, oh, this has got orange concrete powder in it. I'm orange concrete powder. I'm going to drop down through there instead. So it would go down like this and down into this chest. But as that happens, it would also power this comparator, which would quickly unpower this redstone torch, allowing one piece of orange concrete powder to drop through this piston and down onto the conveyor belt. And then it would travel off to be printed into the system. And that would also send a redstone signal up through this redstone line right here to allow one more item to be taken from this chest. And that would be the magenta concrete powder. And then the same thing would happen. It would drop down into this hopper line, travel across like this. It would reach this hopper and it would go, oh, that's me. Those are my friends. It would drop down through there and once again, unpowered this piston very quickly, allowing another piece of magenta concrete powder to be dropped into the system. And all of that happens in order and allows us to get images like that one. So I think it's quite obvious that this system is fantastic in its own way, but it's a bit like the original iPad. It's big, it's clunky, and it's incredibly slow, which is where you guys come in. I want you guys to try your best to redesign my printer right here and make it significantly faster and also significantly more compact. I would say it is totally possible and I can't wait to see what you guys come up with and if you do manage to create it, please post your videos on YouTube and send them to me on Twitter. I would love to see all of them. But unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, that is all I've got time for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please sure to hit that like button and if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mambo and I'm out. I'll see you later.